What is up, YouTube? Speeder Group Team here, and welcome back to the Mystery Files Detective Inaba. Number one, and guys, I'm finally back after another long wait, maybe like three or four days now. And you know, I wish I had more time in the world, but you know, I'm busy, I had other things to do. Ah, you know, I never really understood that phrase, you know, I wish we had more time in the world, but. Now as I'm growing up, you know, a senior, already gonna graduate soon, I think like two weeks, starting Monday. I feel like I'm finally getting an understand to what that really means. But anyways, enough rambling on. Last episode, we... What did we do? Oh yeah. Two people died. The Komatsu, the novelist, and I forgot the carpenter's name. But he died too. And it was weird, it was like someone else killed them or they were just, I guess they were arguing. I don't know what they were doing, but they just, I know the novelist got shanked and uh, what's his name, the carpenter got shot. And there's like, which I'm starting to think it's something paranormal guys, like, like we looked in there and said something about that they couldn't go outside because it was raining and stuff and all that. I'm starting to think it's maybe a ghost, but anyways, I'm not going to hold you guys to it, let's keep going. Yeah, I unlocked the door. Oh yeah, and uh, what the heck, Kaide? Or is that Kaide's mother? Was that a ghost? I don't know, but oh yeah, anyways, Kaide, uh, she said she saw someone come in and drop a key, so they were doing some stuff, you know, they were planning some shit. Or excuse my language, but you know they're planning something. I don't know what they were. I mean, it, maybe it is a ghost, or maybe it's a actual person. But anyways, let's see. Oh yeah, and we're locked in. I forgot to mention that, <laughs> and we can't escape. The shelves are lined with uh, dubious-looking chemicals. All of these are poisons. Huh? Did Mr. Akashi's killer get his poison from this very room? I would say you are correct, but this is the first time any of us has entered this room. Yeah, you're right about that. Uh, yeah, you're right about that. Where else? But where else could anyone have gotten their hands on such a deadly poison in this entire mansion? The only place that houses these poisons is inside this room, which means that Mr. Akashi's murder weapon must have come from here. I mean, what if they had it already at hand from some other place? You know. I mean, think about it, man. Come on. Also, the only one with access to this room would be the owner himself. So if I'm correct, that means the owner did it. For the furniture catalogs. And we got three beds. I guess it's like a, a storage room. Oh, yeah, it was a storage room. You feel you can feel a piece of paper taped to the underside of the table. Yes, yeah, the ghost was here. Why would someone hide a piece of paper here? Probably for a good reason. Let's take a look. To those who enter this mansion and find themselves in a situation where they're being chased by a murderer like I was, then this note is for you. Oh, it's Kaida's mother, I'm guessing. Go to the drawing room located on the first floor. There's a secret room hidden behind the central bookshelf. The drawing room. The drawing room. There is a secret room hidden behind the central bookshelf. Sadly, I wasn't able to confirm my suspicions as I lacked the strength to move the bookshelf on my own. I hope that you have better luck away and find a way out. When you find this note, I will not be able to join you because I am no longer alive. But I do have one last request. Please save my precious daughter. For her safety, I have no choice but to hide her away in the storage room. That is all I ask for. It is Kaida's mother. This must be from Kaida's mother. You can see where her hands were trembling like were trembling in her writing. And these stains, like her tears blotting the paper. All characteristics of one corner to left without hope. Then it's true. She was killed by the owner of his mansion. How could he? What kind of monster corners a mother and her child and then kills them both? How many innocent lives has he taken? Da, 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 da. 
This has gone far enough, Mr. Unibot. Let's go to the secret room mentioned in this note. We must nab this murderer and bring him to justice. Couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah, man. What the hell, bro? Like, messed up. Let's save. Some chemicals. And that's it. Uh, whatever. Alright, so. First floor drawing room? Where is that at? Is it this one? Hey, what are you looking at, Miss Harima? Let me see before I talk to you. Something bothers me about this bookshelf. It seems to be the only one that is free of dust. I know. Hmm, very observative you are, Dr. Harima. Well, this must be the bookshelf mentioned in the note, and I can feel it moving slightly when I push against it. Dr. Arma, please help me move this. Uh, huh? Uh, okay. That better help me. What are you, a boy or a girl? I really want to know. Because, uh, it's hard to tell. Man, this mansion is hiding all sorts of secrets. To think there was a secret room hidden right underneath my nose the entire time? Yeah, crazy, right? I gotta save again. Cause you know, get a little my safety sheen. All right, let's see what is in here. You're now entering the belly of the beast, guys. Let's see. Wow, it's pitch dark in here. We'll need some kind of light. Ah, oh, you serious, man? You got a lighter? What? You serious? Oh my God, we don't have any freaking. It's out of lighter fluid. Uh, Alright, let's just talk to him. Maybe he has a lighter. <laughs> hey, front door key. Come out. Come out wherever you are. Found anything yet? Nah, nothing. Oh yeah, I did find something that could be of some use. This is a tin of lighter fluid. <laughs> Obtain lighter fluid. Alright, all right. you're not that useless, Mr. Nakagishi. We have attained lighter fluid. Uh, let's uh, use it. Yeah. All right, now let's uh, let's use it in here. Yeah, yeah. I get. I'm prepared now. Uh, oh yeah, we gotta take it out. There we go. It's freaking dark in here. What the heck is this? The computer is locked with a password. The screen reads. Your password hit is, when is Mr. X's birthday? Maybe the hint's somewhere around here. Yeah, okay, is there like a light switch first? What is this? Ah, here's another letter. As you've grown older, your interest in literature has risen. Mmm, Mr. Komatsu. Maybe you're not really dead. Hmm, very, very suspicious, guys. Literature. On my 16th, uh, my birthday 16 years ago, uh, 16 years ago, on October 31st. So his birthday's on October 31st. Even though you were only in grade school, I wrote you a book called The Ex Murders and gave it to you as a present. You cannot believe my excitement when I heard you say, I want to just be just like Mr. What the? The heck? Who the heck wants to be a murderer? What the? Your fans fascination with murder mysteries grew as you got older. You wanted to bring out a way to turn fiction into reality. I am proud to say that you were indeed becoming just as suave and sophisticated as he was. You then entrusted me with a vital role. You wanted me to drive a bus so I could bring your test subjects to you. So I gladly obtained a special driver's license to accomplish this. I wanted to do anything to be useful to you. The bus driver? Akashi? Wait. Akashi's the bus driver. Is he the older brother? Yeah, who's his little brother? But, whoa, this is just... What the heck? After I transported these test subjects to your mansion, 
You then observed your, their behavior closely. Our combined efforts became the basis of your next novel. It feels like we are really falling into place as the perfect team. I am forever in your debt. I felt so good when we committed those crimes together. Okay, these letters are getting more and more deranged the more we find them. So the younger brother is the one who owns his mansion, right? And then that means the one who wrote these letters is the older brother. And he mentions taking a job as a bus driver. No, it can't be. Mr. Enaba, there's something else attached to this letter. What's this? Cassette tape? What the frick, guys? Hey, let me save and let me go check on that dead body real quick. Just walk towards him. Very slowly. Nothing. Never mind, guys. But, uh, I feel like we should check his body just in case. Because, uh, something's going on. <clears throat> Alright, his bird. Oh, my God. I gotta freaking take out the stupid lighter again. Alright, uh, his birthday was October 31st, right? Which is, see, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. It's the 10th of, uh, 31st, right? Looks like we logged in. There's some files in particular that catch my eye. What are they? Mass Desire Mansion Map shut down. Well, let's start with the mansion map. So, the first floor, we're here. We've been in all those rooms. Second floor, yeah, been in there, been in there, been in there. We have not been in, uh, the third floor, I mean the third one, we haven't been in that. No, we have, haven't we? We went pop. Yeah, we never mind. We've been on all on the third floor. I, I noticed that the path near my mansion experiences a landslide every time there's heavy rainfall to the point where one can get cut off from the outside world. Due to this, this isolated mountain is an ideal spot for murder mystery. Whenever an extended downpour is scheduled to happen, I set the stage to play my part. Damn, what the heck? Bro, what's wrong with this dude? It's the least I can do for the lucky individuals who are to die in the roles for my masterpiece. To keep things from getting stale, I lit hints throughout my mansion which can lead them back to me. Then I concealed myself from direct detection. Not like those hints will ever lead to fruition, however, even if someone does manage to find their way to me, there's no communication to anyone from the outside. Though I can't say it wouldn't make an interesting chapter to have a heroic confrontation, a battle of wits. This is my life's work. I will continue to bring people here and will observe the struggles against fate for all eternity. How awful. I can't believe this guy is the master behind all this. He killed Kaida's mother, Mr. Ki Akashi, Mr. Komatsu, Mr. Nakaya. He killed all. He killed them all. He won't get his way. He won't get away with this. I mean, uh, I mean, isn't it obvious that uh, what's his face, the bus driver is a possible suspect? Although he is dead, but I mean. Guys, he said he dro drove us here. And who drove us here? The bus driver. These are surveillance monitors. It can feed some, it can, it, it's a feed can, sh its feed can show various parts of the mansion in real time. See, I wasn't being crazy when I said I felt like I was being watched. And that's it. I guess that's it, but what the heck, guys? First an army, then a secret room? Just what is going on in this mansion? How did we end up in this mess? Did I miss something? Like, what the? Oh, right here. Look at this, Mr. Inaba. I can see a picture book about flowers mixed in with the rest of these books. Harimura, how is this relevant to the case? Come on, a quick peek wouldn't hurt anybody. Ooh, take a look at these flowers, Mr. Inaba. They're, they're called forget-me-nots. Aren't they so pretty? Did you know that forget-me-nots mean in the language uh, What Do you know what forget-me-nots mean in the language of flowers? Forget-me-not. 
Do I look like a person who wants to store useless trivia like flower meanings in their head? Since you want to be a stick in the mud, I'll tell you. Forget me nots, stand for remembrance, true love, and memories. Isn't that so romantic? I always adore these dainty uh, blue flowers and their message. Wouldn't it be wonderful to get one as a gift? Not a care in the world in this head of yours, is there? How about instead of wasting my precious time, you help me out look for the you help me look out for this key? Sheesh, can you be more dull? Hmm, forget me nuts. Oh, look here, don't you think this section of the wall is colored differently? Oh, finally! <laughs> I solved it. <laughs> really now? Then you won't mind if I push the wall in? Yeah! Mr. Inaba, you won't believe this. This is a revolving wall. Does a ninja live here? Yeah, we did it, guys. After, like, maybe 10 minutes of just wandering around aimlessly? God dang. Guess I should have looked closely at that map. Oh, guys, I think... I don't know if this is going to be, like, the confrontation part. I don't know if this is going to be the final chat, or, like, final episode. But let's see. Let's see what we got. The double doors are locked. There's an input device attached to them. I don't know what the passcode for this lock would be. Perhaps I forgot to check through the clues I've collected. Huh? Oh, the cassette tape. I forgot about the dang cassette tape. Uh... God dang it, I gotta backtrack. There we go. Ah, oh, finally. A goat? Lion roaring. A blue moon. Was that a goat, a lion, and a bull? Why in the world would this just be animal sound? Or make be making animal sounds? It could be a hint, perhaps. Goat, lion, bull. Goat, lion, bull. What the heck? Huh? What was that? The painting that was hanging on the wall seems to have fallen down. Should we check it out? This painting was of some kind of snake. There's something written on the back. The 13th sign. What could that mean? Some kind of hint, certainly. I'll commit to it in, in to memory. Uh, that was weird. Let's just save in a different spot. Well, I'm back, guys. And, uh, thanks to Flare Blitz again, I found out that it, it had to do with the zodiac symbols, which, uh, I did not know. But, uh, yeah, the, the answer or the. The passcode, if you, if you guys are wondering, is a uh, ten five two. Yeah, and the double doors have seemed to unlock. Yeah, you know, thanks, Flare Blitz, for helping me out with this. Uh, all right, so we're in, guys. Oh, what the heck, piano? An extravagant grand piano stands here. It's like a little bar. What the heck? It's like the killer just come here to like reminisce. This shot glass or another letter. My darling baby brother, I will do whatever I can do to prove my worth to you. Yesterday I went in town to prepare your test subjects for you as per the usual. Ah, just to see the happiness of your beautiful face. I'll listen to anything and everything you have to say. Then you told me the best news of my entire life. You asked me to become one of your test subjects tomorrow. What the heck? Yo. What the heck? This is so wonderful. I get to die for my younger brother? There can be no greater happiness. I can't wait for this day to come. I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. I, can't wait. I am eagerly waiting for my fated hour. By the time you read this, I'll be gone from this world, won't I? All I want you to know is that after I'm gone is how I truly feel about you. Thank you for everything. Nagito, my charming younger brother, you made me the luckiest man in the whole wide world. With your love, your older brother, Hakoro. 
Kotaro Akashi. Who's Nagito? Yeah, I had a feeling it was Akashi was the older brother. But who's Nagito? These these letters are from Mr. Akashi? This seems so. I can't believe it. The same Mr. Akashi who drove us to this, our destination was the complicit was was complicit in the killer's acts? Indeed he was. But he mentioned that his brother's name is Nikito. I don't think I ever heard that name before. Could he really be lurking somewhere in the shadows? Da, da, da. Yeah, that's weird. I feel like we searched every inch of this house and we haven't seen anybody else. Mr. Mr. Inaba? I see now. So that's how he did it. Have you figured it out? It is... Uh, what's his face? Komatsu, is it not? Have you figured it out? Adimura, I want you to bring a Harima Niki, uh, Nakagishi here. Uh, okay. I'm going to unravel this mystery once and for all. Well, guys. It looks like it's almost towards the end of the game. So, let's see. What is this? You know what, guys? I think it might be Komatsu because, you know, yeah, that might be his name but I feel like that's just his pen name so I feel like he really is the brother I mean out of all of them he might he looks most likely to be him I don't know right, let's put together the case all right god damn it let me see you Yeah, let's uh, put together the case. <clears throat> if we fail, guys, my bad. I bought both of them. You really know... You really know who done it, Mr. Detective? Who who did he kill? Three people? Thank you, everyone, for coming. Please listen to what I have to say, because I will start from the very beginning and lead us up to this crucial moment. Oh, all right. Yeah, sure. Guys, if I fail, and I was wrong about Komatsu, ah, my bad, my bad. I'm a terrible, terrible dude. Because again, you know, maybe Komatsu didn't fake his death. Maybe there really was some, I don't know, but no, 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 no. <sighs> I'm going with Komatsu. Thank you for lending me your ears. First, let's take a back. Let's look back on two cases that transpired here. Our first victim was Kotaro Kagishi, the bus driver. He died the first day from ingesting poison from his mule. Then, on then on the second day, two victims were killed: the crime fiction novelist Shikichi Shigetaka and Komatsu, and the carpenter Kenichi Nakaya. Komatsu's neck was sliced open with a knife and he bled out. Nakai's heart was pierced with the bullet and he died instantaneously. Here are some facts you need to know. Both men died about the same time. It was a locked room mystery. The murder room, the murder weapons were never found. In short, we have one person killed on the first day and two were killed on the second day at the same time with two different murder weapons. Such a horrific deed. And now I will reveal who the criminal behind this triple homicide. Komatsu. Bro, it could be Akashi. Imagine he planned this all out. Like every, the letters, everything. Just to clear his name from this. I mean, that would be mind blowing, guys. If this whole little brother thing was a hoax. I don't know. Like, uh. I'm going with Komatsu. If I'm wrong, guys, if we get a bad end. I'm sorry. And the criminal who did this was Shigetaka Komatsu. Huh? Mr. Komatsu did it? Wait just a minute. Am I hearing this correctly? Was it Mr. Komatsu one of the victims? We were all witnesses to his death. I've even conferred it personally. How could he how could he, the deceased, uh commit any further crimes? That's because he Mr. Unima, your desperate attempt at flowering is embarrassing. It's an embarrassment to all of us. It would be better if you stop making uh, excuses and accept your crimes. Huh? What the? 
Take a look at this knife right here. I'm sure you recognize it, right? Yeah, it came from the army. What of it? While I was conducting my investigation, I found this little number in the closet of your guest room, Mr. Inaba. Is this what you used to kill Mr. Komatsu with? No, no, that's just preposterous. I've never even seen the knife before. What do you, what? This dude is playing detective now? That reminds me, during the time when the double homicides in Mr. Komatsu's guest room occurred, wasn't Mr. Inaba the last one to arrive to the scene? Isn't that strange? It's almost as if you were taking extra time to hide the murder weapon. At the doctor? I can't believe this. You of all people would deflect blame onto a victim? That you're able to think of such a ploy disgusts me. You filthy murderer. You inhuman. That's what you are. Hold on. What about Akishi? I had no opportunity to administer the poison. Um, I give in a lot of thought. Da, da, da. When Mr. Kagishi and Ms. Aribura left the dining room to gather the people to eat dinner, there was an opportunity for anyone to enter the, there all alone. There's this person could have poisoned Mr. Aki, uh, Akishi's dish in secret with everyone none the white. Maybe it was Mr. Akishi. Because remember, he had the keys to the. I don't know. But they were not involved in her, ergo, we had no reason to suspect them at first. Da, 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 Mr. Inaba. The only person who knew Mr. Gishi and I were cooking was you, Mr. Inaba. Uh, Arimura, Arimura, are you going against me too? I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Inaba. I, I don't know what to think. What should I do, sir? Mr. Inaba, we all have the evidence we need to put you away for a very long time. It'll be best for everyone's sake if you give up quietly. Da, da, da. After that confrontation, one of us found the key to the front doors, and we all escaped from the mansion. Instead of the bus waiting for us, at the other end, there was police officer standing by. Apparently, someone reported us as missing. I gave myself up to the police, but I won't confess to a crime I never committed. However, since I couldn't find a counterpoint to the reasoning, it was useless in the end. Are you serious? My entire case was built on a falsely, faulty foundation. Only now do I understand that the fundamental fact, the truth vanishes. Wow. They tricked me, guys. God dang it. I just see none of us. And the criminal, or should I say criminals in this case, are not present here. Huh? Not present? What do you mean by that? The ones who executed these crimes are not with us. Actually, it'd be more fair to say they are no longer in this world. Okay, we're all getting confused here. Let's take it from the top, shall we? The one who poisoned, who poisoned Mr. Akashi was. Uh, so it wasn't none of these people. What if it was himself? The one who poisoned Akashi was Kotaro Kakashi himself. He voluntarily ingested the poison and died. Why would he do that to himself? You shouldn't sound so surprised, Arimura. Besides, his letter also told us as much. Oh, yeah. Letters? What letters? These letters were addressed from an older brother to his younger brother. They were spread out throughout the mansion. Let me read you, Let me read you the line in question. You asked me to become one of your test subjects tomorrow? This is so wonderful. I'm going to die for my younger brother? There can be no greater happiness. I can't wait for this day to come. The older brotherly plainly laid out that he intended to die for his sibling. From there, he can easily disconcern his identity. True. We can? Who is he? Mr. Kashi. M Mr. Kashi is the older brother? Then, on the night he died, the killer was... That's correct, Mr. Kashi was both victim and an assailant. So he would have the easiest time out of everyone poisoning his own meal. Wait a sec. Okay, I get how Mr. Kashi offered himself, but you're forgetting about the double murders. How about explaining that one, huh? The one behind the second murder involving Shigetaka, uh, or Komatsu and Akaya was. Oh, you serious. Hmm. 
double murders. Maybe they killed each other. Let's just say they're the ones behind it were Mr. Komatsu and Mr. Nakaya. They did each other in? Correct. The entire mystery behind the locked room murder was simply because they killed each other at the same time. Could you please explain this in greater detail? It's all because of, the, the, of that poison incident from the night before. Mr. Kaya was completely convinced that Mr. Komatsu was a true killer. Mr. Kaya did not plan for this, his paranoia to result in murder, but I'm certain he had that. I'm certain he had uh, he had that thought on his mind the entire time. What kind of thought? Simply to kill Mr. Komatsu before he can kill him. I'm sure that was going through his head or his mind. Thankfully. He had learned some unexpected good news at that very same night, which he was sure would give him the edge. The armory. Precisely. Nakagishi told everyone about the existence of the armory of the armory on the third floor. And so yeah, I took a knife from the armory that he would later use to kill Mr. Komatsu and went to confront him late at night. He was probably let in by claiming uh, something along the line. Hey, he's after me. I know you're not the real killer, or I know you're not the real killer. You so you gotta let me in. Naturally, Mr. Kamasa let him in, all while Mr. Nakaya was hiding the knife in his back pocket. In order for, in order to not let Mr. Kamasa escape, he locked the door behind him. He then attacked the novelist, but that's when the unexpected happened. Such as. A carpenter acquaintance did not accept that Mr. Komatsu would also pay a visit to the armory. The gun! You're catching on, good. This also explains Mr. Komatsu's complete attitude change before the double homicide. Yeah, he was planning something, obviously. Ah, makes sense. But that's why he had no issue with Mr. Nakagishi and I sleeping in our rooms. It's because he, if he was attacked, he'd be able to handle the situation on his own. So he had no reason to be afraid of having the killer on the loose. It was possible he was planning to turn the tables on the killer as well. Sadly, in the end, Mr. Komatsu fired his gun at the same time Mr. Nakaya landed his own attack on him, resulting in the simultaneous deaths. But what happened to the murder weapons? Here's the scenario I'm proposing. Mr. Komatsu acted too rashly and attacked first, uh, and but Mr. Nakaya was just a bit quicker. Mr. Nakaya's knife had sliced Komatsu's neck while he pulled the trigger. Then the carpenter fell backward from the forest and died instantaneously. The novice also fell back, blood pouring from his artery being cut until the last until at last he bled out, giving us our locked room mystery. Hold on there. If what you're claiming is true, then shouldn't have they been collapsing their respective murder weapons when we came on the scene? He has a point. If they killed each other at the same time, then the weapons would still be there, but they were nowhere to be found in that room. I hate to break it to you, but I actually found one of the murder weapons not too long ago. Really? Where did you find it? You see, I found it inside my guest room, right? The simple truth is that with the second incident, there must have been a third party who tampered with the crime scene. A third party? Yes, and that third party is... God dang it. The third party member who tampered with the crime scene was the owner of this mansion. <gasps> Arimura, you recall the younger brother mentioned the letters written by Mr. Akashi, yes? Uh, yeah, I do. He was the reason why the letters were written in the first place. Correct. And this younger brother is clearly the owner of this mansion, and as Mr. Akashi said himself. After I transport these test subjects to your mansion, you will... Yeah, 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 all that. Now, do you recall his younger brother's name? Uh, I think it was Nagito. Yeah, Mr. Akashi's younger brother is named Nikito Akashi. Correct again. What a good work. The owner of the mansion is behind everything. He went you he went through all this effort to manipulate the crime scene, all to implicate and trap me. So you saying that this owner is the mastermind is still working from the shadows to get us? He's not lurking in the shadows any longer, for he's right here in front of us. What? Nagito Akashi? There's a name hitting inside there. If we were to rearrange the letters, we would get... It was you, Toa. Toa Nakagishi. You're on a roll, Arimura. He's the one responsible for this. The mastermind in the shadows. He brought us here only to trap and observe our movements. <coughs> hmm. 
No, sorry about that, guys. But now I've unveiled your true nature to Wanakagishi. Or should I refer to you as your real name, Nagito Hakashi? I, I, I can't believe it. Mr. Nakagishi, this was really your plan all along? Dot, dot, dot. Well. <laughs> Mr. Nakagishi? <laughs> You've got to stop randomly pointing fingers at anyone, Mr. Inaba. I'm the mastermind? Are you serious? That's totally impossible, man. Are you seriously trying to sway the conversation in your favorite distracted room from the knife I found in your guest room? Please, I'd like to hear your explanation of this. Go ahead. Simple, you planted it there to flame me. You brain dead? Evidence, man. Where's your evidence? Oh, do you want to know? Are you pulling my leg? Out with it, man. I want to see this so-called evidence you have. As you wish. It's your grave you're digging. The evidence that exposes the owner of the mansion as the one who manipulated the crime scene was... Uh, let's just say the sole of the shoe. Incriminating evidence that exposes the owner of the mansion is the sole of the shoe. What? I'm not sure I follow. Remember the pools of blood that formed during Mr. Komatsu and Mr. Nakai's death? Apparently the killer was careless and had left his footprint there. I personally made sure to take extra care around the, these pools of blood as not stepped on them myself. I also told Dr. Harmon to watch his step. It's a him? It's a him? I thought it was a girl. Furthermore, I, I'm, I'm keeping the girl voice so like, what the heck? I thought it was a man this whole, or a chick this whole time. Furthermore, Arimura Nakagishi also didn't go further into the room, thus preserving the crime scene. In short, the killer should be the one who the one to have some blood attached to the bottom of their sole or their shoe. However, judging for the footprint on the carpet, it will only be only, <coughs> it will only be only the smallest of smudges. But the fact is so minuscule that exactly why we're we're fortunate. The killers never notice such an inconsequential detail. Therefore I think it's about time we check the bottoms of everyone's shoes. If we do that, this will reveal the true copper who removed the weapons and planted one of them in Mr. Inaba's guest room. Even the sharp one. Ever the sharp one, Arimura. So what were we waiting for? Anyone feeling like burying their soul to me? <laughs> oh, crap, he's gone crazy. You're incredible, Mr. Inaba. You certainly earned your title as a great detective. Thanks. Of course, my stupid brother had to go write such drivel. Ah, well, can't expect any from bonehead like him. Seriously, he made every single thing a hundred times more difficult. Can't believe anyone could be so incompetent. It's all his fault. I've been found out. M Mr. Nakagishi? <laughs> Why are you still calling me by that name? Did you not listen to anything our detective friend has to say? My name is Nagito Akashi. Try not to forget it, Kay. No, this can't be real. Please, tell us you're joking, Mr. Nakagishi. This isn't like you. I thought I've told you worth his sacks of shit to call me by my proper name. <laughs> huh? Oh, crap, my bad. <clears throat> Nagito, tell me, how many people have you killed? Could it be? Did our private dick crack this case wide open? Ooh, wowzers, somebody give this guy an award. What are you saying, Mr. Inaba? Based on those letters, I've deduced that our mastermind here has repeated the exact same scenario countless times before to an art form. Yeah, you're talking about us being test subjects? Precisely, anyone who came to this mansion were test subjects to be used as the groundwork for his next literary work. You mean those murders? The mur you mean those murder mystery books? Ah, oh, my hat's off to you, man. Here, I encompass everything essential in creating the perfect murder mystery. The killer psychology, the victim's raw emotions, and above all else, keeping the illusion consistent. Those murder mystery novels by any unknown author, you all of them. Hey, are you telling me that you've read them? 
Because my murder mystery masterpieces are absolutely without peer. Nothing can compare to them. Especially because all of them are based on real people and real events. They are all non-fiction? Then all those deaths in the books, they all really happened. No shit, Sherlock. You're out of your mind. However, all those other books are going to pale in comparison to this one. I can wait to start writing it. Oh, Nikito, you've outdone yourself this time. <laughs> You're insane to kill everyone for such empty reasons? Empty reasons? Excuse you. They were all honorable, valuable sacrifices for my ultimate art. Besides, I didn't lay a single finger on them. They all died on their own by volid, volid, volidation. How could you say such things? Wait, they actually kill themselves? What the heck? Don't, Arimura. Nothing we say matters at this point. Sigh. I totally underestimated you, Mr. Inaba. You're the only one who could have managed to see past all my smoke and mirrors. Well, if we're honest, I... I'm quite dumb and I couldn't really figure it out until I started thinking, uh, why is this dude framing me, you know, like, I was thinking that in my head, like, why is this dude framing me, but, you know, maybe he is the killer, or the supposed killer, but now we have a slight dilemma, I ha I can't have anyone spoil the ending for my novel before it's finished, so I have one last request for you all, for the sake of art. Could you all just die? I knew he was gonna say it. Everyone, here with me. We gotta escape. Oh, come on. Don't start patting. Uh, don't start patting my novel with this foolish nonsense. <laughs> do you wanna save your progress? Heck yeah, I wanna do it. Oh, we got a full party. Let's not prolong this any longer than we have to. Die for me. Die for my masterpieces. Just die already, Mr. Inaba. Are you serious? I didn't even get a move. Oh, crap. Oh, you've got to be. All right, get out of this one. All right. You must fight to the death. Come at me, you stupid animal. Are you serious? He still killed me even though I had a weapon. Oh, that is some BS. That is some BS. Alright, now let's keep moving. Come on, we gotta get away. We gotta. No! Wrong way! Ah, juke ya! He caught me ankle breaker. <laughs> I swear. Ah! Eek! Oh, they fell. Oh, this is the storage room. The door to the storage room should be unlocked. Just get out before me. I'll be alright. I'll be right behind you, too. Ah, this isn't good. The door won't open. What? Mr. Nikita must have locked it beforehand. Hold on, you two. I'll find something to pull up with, pull you up with. You can, uh, you can now save your progress up until you find the item. All right, let's save. Uh, uh, so it's in the chest, bro. Oh, I got the robots with the music, though. I'm pulling you up now. <laughs> Gotta pull up my girl, bro. Come on, Anymore, I got the rope. I'm going to use it to pull you up first. Gotcha. Now maybe I should have saved the uh, the ropes then. Now what should we do? All we can do is find the key and open the storage room back up. Right on it. Please wait for us, Dr. Hamu. I mean, we'll find the key and get you out as soon as possible. Wait just a moment. You're seriously going to leave me behind? I thought you two were good people. <laughs> Whatever gave you the permission... Whatever gave you the permission we were, we never... You two are colleagues, aren't you? So, what am I both to you? A nobody? A stranger? I wasn't born yesterday, you know. You feel nothing about leaving me here to die. Not a single thing. I can just hear you two laughing right now at the thought of my demise. Doctor, remain calm. We will come to rescue you. Then I will demand they rescue me right now. Get me out right this instant. Get on. 
do them possible, so please wait and believe in us. You will rescue me right this second or so help me God. Is that a gun? This situation like this, we all have to watch out for ourselves. Now if you don't rescue me, I'll pull this trigger. I'll do it. Either I get to come with you or one of you dies. Here. Doctor, don't. Uh, Arimura? Arimura! No! I didn't mean... I'm gonna kill you. Arimura, hang in there. M Mr. Inaba. Sir, you have to hurry and escape. It doesn't matter right now. I'm not leaving you behind. Wake up, Arimura. Are you serious? Oh my god, what have I done? Why did you kill my big sister? Eee! It was an accident. I really wasn't going to shoot anybody. Shut up. She was my big sister and you... And you... Get back! Stay away from me! Why did you kill her? Whoa! Oh my god, bros. This was... What the heck, guys? Doctor. And... <clears throat> I guess it's a bad ending. I thought I heard an exciting future chapter for my book, but man, I can't believe this twist. Arimura is seriously dead. Oh man, that sucks. You. Isn't she lucky? Gee, seriously, saves me all the effort in killing her. Imagine the reader's shock to learn that this poor heron died from the hands of the people she trusts. <laughs> it writes itself. Uh, are you suffering inside, Mr. Inaba? Can't you feel the gut-wrenching churn in your stomach? Don't worry, my friend. You won't have to feel that way for, way for too long. I'm sending you off to meet her. Now she won't be. Now she won't have to be lonely in hell. <laughs> oh crap, guys! Don't you dare speak ill of her. What's this? Am I feeling a raw sense of pure, unfiltered resentment coming from you? <laughs> but I'm being so nice to you. You don't want to live without your sweet Arimura, do you? You don't want her to be all alone, right? Come on, I'm offering you a one-way ticket to meet her, courtesy of this blade. I'm gonna kill you. Huh? What? I warn you, now you'll never disrespect the dead ever again. Dang, guys. I lost my... My only hope in the world, and I became a murderer. Obtained Grand Master Gi. Arimura. Arimura. Oh, let's get out of here. Aww. Oh. Yo, I'm on a quick note. Wow, this is a crazy end, guys. <clears throat> I lost my shit when my partner died. Let's get out of here. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Instead of our bus waiting for us at the other end, there's police officers standing by at last. I was finally safe from the living hell. I learned that there was never a landslide in the first place and we were treated as missing persons. When was the landslide we saw back just an illusion projected by the ghost of the mansion? Or were they, or were they guiding us to break the chain of death perpetuated by the sadistic brothers? Sadly, this mystery was beyond me. I told the police everything that happened inside the mansion. Well, almost everything. I kept one thing to myself. <clears throat> I'll come back to this mansion again someday to meet with the other passengers of that bus. And so the curtain falls on this particular mystery file. It'll be one I cannot forget. Especially considering the crime I had committed. A crime that will follow me throughout my life. Yo, that one was pretty sick. It was like a tragic end, but... I liked it. <clears throat> Alright, let's save uh, this stupid doctor this time. Freaking doctor killed my girl, bro. Disrespect. Dr. Armour, please hold on to the rope. I'm gonna pull you up. I, I got it. Oh, I gotta save your dumb ass. The rope snapped. What about Arimura? All we can do is find the key and open the storage room back up. You you're right. Arimura, please wait there. We'll come get you. Y you better. Besides, if you dare leave me behind, I'm gonna become a wandering ghost and haunt your office. 
should be fine in the meantime. Let's get going, doctor. L lead the way. You. What's all this? I thought I heard an interesting anecdote to use for my next chapter, but what? I waltz is boring as shit. <laughs> well then, shall we resume the hunt? Dang, in times of crisis, everyone goes shit crazy. <laughs> oh my god, why can't we just fight back? Now there's no one left to run, you know. Oh wait, that reminds me, now like it all matters in the end, you don't even have the key to front to the front doors. What should we do? We'll fight. Wah! The lights. Damn, now what? Ah well, this changes nothing. Just some good <clears throat> mood lighting for the grand finale. Oh, I didn't get to read the last part, I actually skipped it. Huh? What was that? The ghost. We'll kill you. Ah, it hurts. I hate you. Die. It's now your turn to be a test subject. Mommy, where are you? I'll kill you. It's so painful. Who's saying that? Show yourself. These are the voices of the people who died here. Eee! Get the heck away from me! Die, 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 we found you. I'll enjoy killing you, you'll die with us. Die, 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 die. I, I can't breathe. H help, help me, help! Die. Die with us. Wow. That just we just witness. Damn, it's dark to see anything. Good thing I have a light on me. Can I save your progress? All right, let me see. Different slot. Dang, the doctor's pretty tall. I mean, look at that side by side comparison, though. My lighter. Uh huh. What's all this? Are those ghosts of the dead people who died here? I should be careful not to touch them. Uh. Now we can get out of here. Arimura! Oh, god dang, that puzzle was hard. You sure took your sweet time, Mr. Inaba. Please, I was going as fast as I could. Let's not argue some, 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 semantics. Here, we saved you, Miss Arimura. Let's get out of here. Uh, let's get out of here. Post haste. Big sister, are you leaving me? Oh, Kaide. Is that you, Kaide? Why? Tell me why. Something feels off about her demeanor. I have a really bad feeling about this. You promise you stay with me. You are stupid, stupid, stupid liar. Eek. This isn't good. We have to run. To the exit, everyone. Right behind you, Mr. Uni, but don't tell me I have to run in this... Well, now let's get out. Jesus, man. Oh, I thought I was going to die. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kaide. Oh, I feel bad. Big sister, please don't leave me. Oh, I feel like a dick. Instead of our bus waiting for us at the other end, there was police officers standing by. At last, we were finally safe from that living hell. I learned that there was never a landslide in the first place, and we were treated as missing persons. Then, what was that landslide we saw back then just an, an illusion projected by the ghost of the mansion? Or were, you, they got, or were they guiding us to break the chain of death perpetrated by the sadistic brothers? Sadly, this mystery was beyond me. After I told the police everything that happened inside the mansion, I let her return there in order to meet with the rest of the other passengers. However, not a single soul remained in that mansion. Not even the remains of Nagito Akishi was there to be discovered. All I could do was bury Kaida's remains with the proper grave, and thus the current to this sordid case finally fell. This will be one mystery file we'll never forget. Wow. Poor Kaida, she got like a little bit of an ending. I wish, why couldn't she just find her mother? <sighs> I think there is an ending for that because uh, I saw like a picture of uh, and uh, 
and Flare Blitz playthrough and and it had like a picture of what I think was the mom and Kaide hugging yeah it was something like that I don't know if I'll try to get that in I'll try maybe I'll try I don't know you you guys will see if I try it or not but uh let's see if we get it. see see anything after the ending credits that was pretty sad and I mean it was good for us I mean three people died uh, or four technically I mean what could I have done to have changed to get a different ending maybe <laughs> bro what if I were supposed to take her to her mom or something you know like instead of going downstairs I'm supposed to go back upstairs and then like lead her all the way to her mom hey that could have been one of the endings hey let me try that out right now thanks for playing no problem guys awesome here you go mr. Inuba your coffee is served with both milk and sugar correct Yep, enough to give you a sugar buzz. Plus, I got you some of Nina's special deluxe homemade cake just for you. Mm, this coffee's not that bad. Seriously, if you hate my bitterness, if you hate bitterness so much, I can't understand why you bother drinking coffee at all. <laughs> oh, I get it now. You're trying to emulate those dark, handsome, hard-boiled egg de type detectives. Care to repeat that? Ah, uh, we stop pulling my cheeks so hard. <laughs> Oh, could that be our next client? Oh, new case, guys, new case. Oh, sorry, man. Hello. Hey, Dr. Harma, it's good to see you. And you too, Nina. You look well. Are you making sure you're getting plenty of rest? Would you like a lollipop? I don't like you. You, you killed her in one of the endings, and I hate you for that. Jeez, don't treat me like a child, Dr. Harma. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, I just have a bit of fun with you. Arimura, are you sure you're gonna let the doctor stand out there or you're gonna invite him in for a chat? Uh, oh, of course. Doctor, it's unusual to come here. Is there anything in particular that you need? <laughs> As a matter of fact, yes, I would like to request your services, our esteemed detective. Is this a new case for us? Hip hip hooray! Looks like I'm gonna get paid this month. Are you claiming that you didn't get paid last month? Uh, you know, I pay based on case and performance skills. <laughs> Naturally. If that's the case, then I'll earn a, a fortune this time as Detective Inuba's number one assistant. You were just waiting for an opportunity to say that, weren't you? <laughs> Read me like a book. Now then, let's hear about this case of yours while I gently take a sip of my morning cup of coffee. Hmm... And one and on to the next case but yeah guys oh that was about it I don't know I don't know maybe I'll try going for that that other end real quick let's see let's see let me try real quick uh, oh, let's go you serious come on let me through there Mr. Jimmy why would you lead us to the dead end I have an idea hear me out an idea this better work it will now I'm I'm going to blow out my lighter oh big sister where are you this is where they meet it's mommy oh M ma mommy kaide kaide my beautiful kaide that's you isn't it Mommy, is that really you? Yes, it's mommy. Oh, I'm so sorry. My precious Kare, you must have been crying for me all alone for such a long time. I was waiting for you, mommy. I was waiting for you to come and get me, but you never showed up. Yes, I, I know you were. Oh, Kare, I hope you can forgive mommy. You were suffering all on your own. <laughs> mommy. Oh, that's the thumbnail right there, guys. Please don't leave me again, mommy. <laughs> don't worry, my dear. I'll stay with you for as long as you want. You nor I have to be alone any longer. You. You're the ones who brought my precious daughter to me, aren't you? 
We did. I didn't feel it was right to leave Kaede alone any longer. Yeah, me neither, guys. This is why I had to do this. Kaede's mother. Or, it's all thanks to your... It's all thanks to your effort that we were finally free from the confines of this godforsaken mansion. All three of you have the sincere... Have my sincerest gratitude. Aww, we did it, guys. Big sister, Mr. Weirder, thank you so much. Oh, I like this ending way better. Did they finally cross over to heaven? Yes, I'm sure of it. Mr. Inaba, you were trying to save Kaede's soul, weren't you? I couldn't live with myself if I just let her be. Yeah, me neither, guys. Like, I couldn't let that happen. <laughs> hey, think, it, think it's about time we leave this place for good? Yeah. Instead of our bus waiting for you, yeah. I learned that there was a landslide in the first place, that there was never a landslide and we were treated as missing persons. Weird. Probably the ghosts took care of everything. Yeah, it's pretty much the same, same stuff. Well, uh, yeah, guys. Yeah, we did it, guys. We did it. Ah, well, guys, that was... Uh, the prank was pretty long, guys. It took me almost three hours. Right now, it's, uh... Uh, 2.22 in the morning. Uh, this is like the only time I could record because my brothers and my family and all that. Uh, but it was, I liked it, you know. I think I should have maybe split it into parts. Like, but I don't know. I feel like I should, I, I just really wanted to finish this game. Uh, but you got some of the, I think I got not all of the endings, but most of the endings. You know, it was pretty sick. Hmm. My thoughts on this game, well, I like it. I like the aspect of the murder mystery type stuff. And as we saw in that other ending, there's going to be, there's most likely going to be another game. But it's going to be a while. I, I like the endings they had. I like, uh, I like that one ending where, uh, although Adi Muda died, it was like very interesting, you know. Was, I liked how, like, he lost his, uh, uh Mr. Inaba lost his, his shit pretty much and he killed a man I was like damn bro that was that was weird like they crossed the line once to kill Laimura and then like the doctor like oh, I hated her for that I hate the doctor for doing that like why why, why would you shoot Laimura for she's such a sweet little girl man you just pop, popped her right in the face it's version uh, is there man it's probably gonna be the same ending well guys that was it was a really good game I liked it I'm pretty sure some of you liked it uh, and yeah guys I hope you guys enjoyed and I don't know I think I might finish my other playthroughs on the other games I feel like I should I don't know. I, I hate leaving things unfinished. You know what I mean? <sighs> but yeah, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one, my brothers and sisters. Peace out.